<clears throat> Alright, welcome back everybody to Operation Eclipse. This is the Commonwealth and France turn 5. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just hop straight into tech rolls. Had some pretty quick turnaround on uh, turn 5 so far. We'll actually have everybody doing their turn uh, in one day. Pretty cool. Anyway, um, since it's turn 5, we are going to be rolling for long-range aircraft and radar again as the British. So we'll go ahead and do those. And radar finally gets on the board for the British uh, and moves to stage 1. And long-range aircraft also uh, gets a hit and moves to stage 2. So, uh, not looking too bad after all for uh, British technology. Uh, we'll see how that continues once we get into rolling for the later stages. Um, for France Tech, we'll go ahead and do it, and we will roll for radar, and it misses and stays at stage one. All right, um, for buys, for the Commonwealth, um, GB is going to be spending all of its money buying a fighter and three militia. FEC is again going to be spending all of its money buying an infantry and a militia. And then Anzac is going to spend three dollars to buy an infantry. So Anzac spends three, but then gains three, and will remain at six. Sex spends five, and then gains five, and then Britain uh, spends sixteen, and then gains fourteen. For movement, um, our uh, transport that is in Calcutta is going to strategic naval move one. Two, three, four, five, and go and port into South Australia. Our um, naval transport that is in port in Lower Egypt is going to strategic naval move and go one, two, three, four, and it's going to go into port in Gibraltar with the other transports there. Our transport that is in South Africa is going to hang out uh, for the time being. Um, Actually, it's going to pick up the infantry from Cape Town, uh, take that to Lower Egypt, and then go into port into Lower Egypt. Um, our Anzac destroyer and light cruiser that are on escort duty in A54 are going to move up into A48 and go on escort duty there. Um, the British First Fleet is going to dissolve. Uh, the Light carrier, the British light carrier, or the Great Britain light carrier, the and the two heavy cruisers are going to join the transports that are in port in Gibraltar. The battleship and the battle cruiser are going to move uh, one, two, three over into M8 uh, and join the rest of the British ships there. And since technically, I guess, the Italians could declare war if they so wanted against those two ships, um, the whole fleet that was in M8 is going to move over into M4 as they go through and then move back into M8 with them. Um, our attack bomber that was on the light carrier um, is going to move 1, 2, 3, 4 and land in Lower Egypt. The submarine uh, is going to move over and join the rest of the ships in M8. The uh, rest of these units, with the exception of one destroyer, is going to move up into uh, C zone A27. So it's going to be one, two. And then the remaining destroyer is going to move one, two, three, four into A18 and go on escort duty there. Um, 
the coastal defense ship in A21 is going to come down into A27 and come off escort duty. And the light carrier that was in port in A21 is going to come down to A27 as well. And the fighter that's in northern England is going to fly 1, 2, 3, 4 and land on that light carrier in A27. Um, I think that has got... Great Britain's combat move or movements completed. Uh, let's see that there. These guys here, that there. Yes, I think that's got Great Britain. So we will move on to uh, Anzac and Fec. Uh, the ship's already moved. Uh, FEC, uh, so let's see. The Anzac Infantry and two of the FEC Infantry are going to stay in Calcutta. Everything else is moving up into Benar Benares. These guys are going to come back. Uh, it's going to stay in Calcutta. Everything else is in Benares. Um, and I think that's actually got all of the British movements completed now. Uh, so we will go ahead and um, actually we are going to move our transport plane down to Gibraltar. Um, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six to Gibraltar. And then uh, we can go ahead and place all our buys. So everything Great Britain is buying is going to the United Kingdom. Um, the fighters being built in Northern England, and then there's going to be one militia each built into the non-London territories. For FEC, the infantry is being built in Calcutta, and the militia is being built into uh, Singapore, British Malaya, I guess. And then the Anzac Infantry is being built in Sydney. Alright, so it's got the British done, I do believe. Uh, so we will move on to France. France has $8 and is spending all $8 on uh, four militia. And then they will collect nine at the end of the turn. We'll see if they get to spend that nine or not. Go ahead and bring these guys up here. Um, for movements, our transport in A29 is coming down into A44 and is joining the other transport there. Our medium bomber in French Morocco is going to go on Marine Time Air Patrol in A44. Uh, our battleships and destroyer are going to move 1, 2, 3 into AM9. Our destroyer is going to stay out uh, in the sea zone. The battleships are going to go import into Syria. Um, the uh, I guess we could put all the UK stuff on this. Uh, we'll do that at the end of the turn. Just to make that bigger like that. Okay, um, other French movements. Our sub in I-7 is going to move 1, 2, 3, move into P-42. Our three subs in P-16 are going to move up 1, 2, 3, into P-1. Mm, no. They are going to stay in P-16 because I remembered that Japan if they get these, can sail them back to home country. So, sticking them way up there, they don't really do anything for us. Um, so yeah, those stay in P-16. Uh, in France proper, the infantry that is in Aquitaine, I think it's going to stay there. I think actually everything's going to stay where it is in France. 
we're going to add two militia to both Paris and uh, also this Lorraine. I think that's going to be the French turn completed. Um, we're actually going to move the infantry in Aquitaine up to Normandy. And that will be the French turn uh, completed, I do believe. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see if we're uh, still at peace next turn, or if we'll have uh, some things to take care of. Um, so with that being said, we will go ahead and pass it over to the Electron for Italy, turn 5.